today's video, I'm gonna let ChatGPT optimize my PC and see if it's actually worth it. So to kick things off, I'm gonna go on ChatGPT and I'm gonna write it a pretty good script of what to give me. And as you can see, it gave me a script right here to optimize my computer. And it also gave me two extra tweaks that I can do. So before I test this out, I'm gonna load up Fortnite and see how much FPS I'm getting before I do any of the ChatGPT tweaks. All right, so in game while standing still, I'm getting around 600 to almost 700 FPS, barely touching 700. And not at least bad considering I'm zero ping, but it's also not that bad. This is better than being on zero delay on like 30 ping. And when I look up and do an emote, the max FPS I'm seeing is about 1000. So I'm gonna go do the ChatGPT tweaks. All right, so right here on the ChatGPT tweaks, it says save the following code as optimized for gaming.bat and then right click and run as administrator. So all I have to do is just click copy right here, then make a notepad document, and then file, save as, and then just copy this title right here, then just paste this in, and change it from text document to all files and click save. And then right here is my chat GPT optimization script. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run it as administrator. And now it says optimization complete, please restart your PC. But I'm actually gonna go back into chat GPT and use the extra two tweaks it gave me. It says right here, download standby memory cleaner. <laughs> All right, and I guess this just doesn't work. So I'm just gonna skip this one. And the additional Fortnite tips, disable full screen optimizations. So to disable full screen optimizations, you just wanna to go to your local disk, program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and then find your Fortnite client Win64 shipping, the one that's the largest size, and then right click on it, click show more options, properties, then click on compatibility at the top and check disable full screen optimizations. All right, so I'm loaded up after doing the chat GPT tweaks and my FPS is actually like a little bit higher, like 10 to 20 higher. I'm actually touching like over 700 before when I was standing still like this, the max I went to was like 701. Like that was it. And now sometimes I'm reaching like 720 and when I build, it's still delayed, but it's Let's delay them before I tell you that. Like you can still see the delay like when I build, but it feels a lot better than before. When I look up into an emo, I'm still getting basically the exact same FPS. So this helped a tiny bit and I'm honestly pretty impressed for GPT, even though it's supposed to be super smart. Now I'm gonna use my extreme tweaking panel, which is a tool that will completely optimize your PC for gaming. So I'm just gonna use this real quick and come back. Now I'm going to load up my game after using the extreme tweaks. And now while standing still, I'm getting 780 to like 800 FPS, which is like another hundred boost off the chat GPT tweaks. And when I do an emote and look up, now I'm getting like a thousand and fifty FPS. That's the highest I saw. That's like a small boost, but the normal FPS just standing still is a lot higher. And when I build, now I have a lot less play. Oh my gosh. Like all my edits just go through instantly. If you want a similar result on your PC, check out risentweaks.com for the best computer optimization service on the market. We have over 4.5 thousand customer reviews, so I highly recommend checking us out. But with that said, I hope you have an amazing day.